This video will offer comprehensive exploration of Mughal Gardens, renowned as one of the most distinguished instances of formal gardens. To stay up to date with our latest videos, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon to receive immediate alerts whenever new content is uploaded. The Mughal Gardens are a group of gardens built by the Mughal emperors who ruled over much of the Indian subcontinent from the 16th to the 19th centuries. They were designed to reflect the Persian and Islamic styles of garden design. This style was introduced to India by Babur, the founder of the Mughal dynasty. Mughal gardens were inspired by the Islamic concept of paradise, known as Jannat or Jannah. According to Islamic belief, paradise is often described as having four gardens which are said to be filled with beautiful trees, fruits, and flowers, and are watered by four rivers, the river of milk, the river of honey, the river of wine, and the river of water. Mughal gardens were built on hill slopes with perennial rivulets or along the river banks. The hill slopes provided natural terraces for the gardens, which the Mughals utilized in their garden design to create different levels of the garden, each with its unique features and characteristics. Rivers supplied water to water channels, fountains, cascades, and pools. The Mughal gardens were designed in a formal, rectilinear pattern known as the Charbagh concept. This design consisted of four sections, typically divided by water channels or pathways, that crisscrossed in the center of the garden. The Mughal gardens were often enclosed by high walls. The walls were often decorated with intricate tie work or calligraphy, adding to the aesthetic appeal of the garden. The entrances are often towering and beautiful. The doors are massive wooden structures studded with hefty iron nails and spikes. Terrace is constructed at several levels. The number may vary and represent symbolic numbers such as 7 for the planets, 8 for the paradises, or 12 for the zodiac signs. Seven terraces are found in Yadvindra Garden, eight terraces in Ram Bagh and twelve terraces in Nishat Bagh. The terraces are usually connected by a series of staircases, creating a gradual ascent towards the top. The entrance to the garden is typically located on the bottom terrace. The tomb or other significant structure may be located on the middle or top terrace, providing a stunning panoramic view of the garden and surrounding landscape. The terraces themselves are often decorated with elaborate fountains, pools, and lush greenery, creating a tranquil and serene atmosphere. The terraces also provide opportunities for different types of flora to be planted at different levels. Water channels, known as nahars, are often lined with stone or marble and are placed along the central axis of the garden. The channels are also used to create stunning water features such as fountains, cascades, and pools. Fountains in Mughal gardens were usually located at the center or on the sides of a water channel or pool, which would flow through the garden in a structured pattern. A cascade is a series of small waterfalls or steps that allows water to flow down a slope or a series of terraces. In Mughal gardens, cascades were often built at the edge of a terrace and would flow down into a pool or a water channel. The water would then flow through the garden, creating a sense of movement and harmony. The pools, also known as hoys or jhalas, are typically placed strategically within the garden, creating a central focal point and enhancing the overall beauty of the space. The pools in Mughal gardens are often designed in a symmetrical pattern and may be square, rectangular, or circular in shape. Walkways known as kyabans, run parallel to central water channel. They are often lined with trees and lush vegetation, creating a serene and peaceful atmosphere within the garden. Baladri is an octagonal or square pavilion with 12 or more entrances with a raised platform in the center. The pavilions are often decorated with intricate carvings and colorful tile work, adding to the beauty of the garden. 
Tomb serves as focal point for garden. The location of a tomb in a Mughal garden can vary depending on the specific garden and its design. Tomb of Humayu, Akbar and Itimadur Dora are located in the middle of the garden. Taj Mahal is located in the last terrace. Trees were grown along the water canals and near the main buildings. Fruit trees were considered symbols of life and youth while the cypress trees represented death and eternity. Mughals had a preference for spring flowering trees and flowers. Annual were grown in geometrical beds. The Mughals also had a particular fondness for certain flowers such as roses, jasmine, carnations, hollyhocks, and dalphiniums. <laughs>